this is Dave Foster. Um, I just want to do a video really quick on uh, downloading Skype and then setting it up because a lot of people uh, are having a little bit of trouble setting it up. Not too bad just uh, as far as understanding what to do after you do set it up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Skype.com which is S-K-Y-P-E dot com and you're going to click download which it should, if you go to skype.com it'll have the download button there anyway uh, but see mine's showing that for Mac because I am on a Mac but yours will be the Windows one which will look like this Skype for Windows okay and once you download it it's gonna install um, and there's detailed instructions on how to uh, download it once you click that um, and then once it's downloaded here is uh, how you set it up. Okay, go to account um, and preferences. Okay, you're going to get these preferences like this. Okay, um, and the first thing that you want to make sure in the general settings, which this is a little bit different on Windows than it is on a Mac, but you're going to have the same buttons more or less. Um, so you're going to pretty much it's going to be up and down though instead of on top like this. In your general settings make sure that the first thing you do is you set it to when I double click start, uh, contact start a chat. The last thing you want to do is double click somebody and then all of a sudden their Skype starts ringing and they're calling you or you're calling them um, and you have no idea what's going on and then they pick it up and they're saying hello and you don't have your microphone or your headphones set up and you know it just doesn't work very well so make sure first of all you change that right there and then in privacy um, not a lot of important stuff in here uh, you can allow calls from I used to have it only people in my contact list but since I have my name out there more I did it to anyone because then if I don't recognize the number or the name I can just ignore it so you kinda want to keep these on anyone except for maybe like show your picture and, and show your video kind of keep that private um, and then allow my status to be shown on the web is how you know if you can take a uh, some code which you can get from uh, the pro ad link team website if you just request it I can give you the code that you can put on your page to show whether you're online or offline uh, on Skype then you got your notifications that so you can have play sounds when you sign in or when somebody else uh, comes online or when somebody goes offline or when you get a message uh, then this is where you're, you, that, you don't have to worry about that um, unless you have Skype out which I'm telling you you can really save a lot of money if you get a phone number through Skype and talk on your computer I, I talk uh, lately more on my computer than I do with my regular phone so it's a great great tool it's inexpensive uh, you can even have voicemail and everything like that so and you can even text um, I have my text set up but that's because I have an outgoing number um, so and then your video my video is gonna come on hi I'm sitting here recording uh, you can choose which camera enable your Skype video start your video automatically which right when you log on which I wouldn't recommend I wouldn't recommend you have anything start automatically actually so and then your chat uh, what it looks like you can choose different skins if you've got it. Windows I think has two the Mac only has one file transfers um, do not automatically accept files always uh, have accept them first because sometimes people will try to send you things and if you don't have them on your buddy list or something it'll just automatically download it to your computer and boom you could get a virus so you don't want to do that and then just some different uh, fun stuff that you really don't need to worry about so once again the most important thing just make sure you have it on start a chat when you double click somebody's name so that is how you set up Skype and then of course you'll have your buddy list there um, that's what it looks like when people are online or offline so um, that's all I have for now have a great day and I will talk to you again real soon